we are watching the very first season of Scott Bakula's Quantum Leap. We're technically two episodes in. It was a two-part uh, two part opener, and I thought it was a very interesting premise, uh, and it hooked me in. Hopefully it gets better. Yeah, the pilot blew away my expectations, for sure. I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, check out that reaction if you haven't watched it yet. Today we're jumping into episode three. This is the first regular, you know, 40-ish minute episode, so I'm excited to see how the pacing and everything goes now that we're actually set into the actual season of the show, not in a pilot. So uh, we're going to get jumping into it right now. Oh, here we go. Real intro. Oh, we had a new one. Right? Oh, yeah. We just jumped straight in. Well, they First had, step. like, the clouds, like this shot. Yeah. Yeah. What? It seems more like a... Like, I don't know, like a Brady's Bunch, uh, Brady Bunch, uh, Full Sick, House. Sitcom? Yeah. Yeah. Not exactly like a time travel science fiction show. Man, they're really proud of their, you know. Hologram. Uh, hologram thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit, we're gonna get a boxing one? Is it just a recap of the entire show right here? That, that was just a creature in the Black Lagoon. Why was that there? Oh, here we go. Some making out. All right, what else? That name seems familiar. Donald Balisario? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, the spoiled what year it was. I thought that was the fun, trying to guess what year it was. And why all these young women are staring at me as if I were Tom Cruise? Where, where was I? It's insane how long Tom Cruise has been around. <laughs> <laughs> I think the woman was sexually suppressed. Far out, man. You think she wrote this because she was horny? Right on. Of course, they had to, because it's placed in the 70s for this episode, to get a bit far out in there. <laughs> uh, well, I, I, it's, it's an interesting... And a difficult question. <laughs> it's like, thank God. <laughs> no Friday classes in summer school? Right? Oh, yeah. Yes, um... <laughs> summer school, so I think these girls just willingly come to see him. Just... Oh, like he's a hot teacher, so they all fail on purpose? <laughs> yeah, or they all just, yeah, I'll take an extra course. Oh, yeah. That'd be funny, he looks in the mirror, he's just disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wondering how the show was filmed, if, if like the pilot was filmed, like, like if they were already picked up, you know what I mean? Because I was curious, like, oh, are they going to pick up from that teacher, you know, cliffhanger at the end? Or are they just going to, like, be something completely different, so. Mm -hmm. Surprise! I've been trying to get a moment alone with you all afternoon. Uh, uh. Hey, Ohio. What can I do for you? Give me life, my darling. Look at that white spot on his hair. I was gonna say, like, are they trying to make him like that's this character, even though like I thought the whole point is that it's just himself. Or maybe that's part of his character now. Maybe the more he jumps, the more white it gets. It becomes all white <laughs> eventually. Of course. This is Lawrence. Where are you going? After, to the Wrath Skeller. They're closed between four and six in the summer. <laughs> between four and six. <laughs> oh, you know it's summer. We gotta close between mm -hmm. four and six. <laughs> Why? Unless you mean it's 4 p.m. and 6 a.m. That'd be weird. Still a weird way to yeah. say it. What's wrong? Everything. Not that conventionally attractive. Yeah, well, I guess I was right. Maybe that was just the look in the 70s, I guess. Is that Randy Quaid? Or is that Randy? He looks like Randy Quaid now. Oscar said he'd kill you with his bare hands. Oscar? A Neanderthal who goes to Ohio State. Woo! So Lawrence must be a school in Ohio as well. It's all so like Romeo and Juliet. Great men want a horse whip and kill me, and you're playing Juliet. Have they established if uh, Scott Bakula has like a relationship in the real world? Because he was pretty uh, adamant about seeing that Donna person. Yeah, good point. I, they definitely didn't. I mean, he went even as far as to kiss that one woman, you know, uh, yeah. Peggy. Oh, yeah. What else is there to do? Have a cup of tea. I like how once again he's just going along with this. Like he doesn't just leave this woman. Yeah, didn't you turn her down earlier? And then she's just still here. <laughs> We're gonna get you out of this one quick this time. Uh, Ziggy figures a 99.5 percent chance want out you'll of this be able to leap when what? How many seasons of the show are there? Four? I don't know. More. Because I don't think he's gonna get out of this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Good point. We uh, we we can we can play Lance a lot in Guinevere some other time. When my darling. It's got to be the most overacting I've ever seen from that from that person. The one should have been like, hey, take it down a few notches. <laughs> Just a little bit. Just a little bit. How do you know that? I told you because Ziggy's got a computer down to the I don't give a damn what a point. computer says. Do you think his memory is up to, up to speed now? 
Yeah, I think so. So that was just a gimmick for yeah. the first episode. A convenient plot device. Yeah. <laughs> What's her name? Donna. She must be like the one that got away for him. Rule numero uno: the time traveler shall not take advantage of his position to improve or alter his life. Just everybody else's. <laughs> yeah. Now oh, that's my interpretation. If I made the rule, I can rescind it. So ordered. Okay, so he still doesn't remember from before the leap. <laughs> it's like they just answered me. It's like... But then how does he know this Donna woman then? Eh, something slipped through. I don't know. You think like when he saw her, like that's what made him remember? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the it 1990 flashback. <laughs> In case you haven't noticed, Al, the committee doesn't run this project or me anymore. Remember the first time you saw someone with a Bluetooth? You thought they were crazy? I remember seeing like a person with a Bluetooth, like, who the fuck's this person talking to? Then it's like, oh. We're thinking they're talking to me. Yeah. Pretty straight for the 70s. Of course, this is a Catholic girls' college. Is that necessary? Yeah, why? Uh, it's psychedelic. It must be the black light or something. You look like a ghost. Man, they were really proud of this. <laughs> and if I did, I couldn't tell you. I broke the rules before giving you personal data, and if I do it again, the committee's threatening to remove me from the project. There's a committee? <laughs> I thought it was just these, I thought it was just those two, and Ziggy. Yeah, well, apparently not, apparently it's a whole thing. Unless he's making that up too. <laughs> yeah. But here's the thing, this woman you love is now in her early 20s, and you look like you're 55. Like, well, come on, you know how it works, what do you expect to happen? She smelled the same. Of course, I didn't. God, how I wanted to tell her I'm not the boozed out professor she sees. <laughs> Does he just assume he's boozed up? <laughs> Coke, cheeseburger, and fries, medium rare on the burger. And Hold the tomato, extra onion. Uh, no. <laughs> Ooh, how I like my burger. That doesn't make any sense. And now it's, it's all a simulation, I'm guessing. It's gonna be like, like the end of uh, Click, spoilers, where he just wakes up in the Bed Bath & Beyond. You've had too much to drink. I haven't had a drop. It's like, what's his plan, you know? That's, what does he expect? Hard cut, he's getting handcuffed. Please don't talk to me anymore, Dr. Grant. Donna. Hey, I thought I told you to leave my girl alone. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> Oscar, and he's here to break your face. That's Psycho Sid, or Sid Vicious, whatever his no, wrestling name. I know it's not him. Oh, but, but yeah, definitely the look. <laughs> no, always break my face. Good. Dental Hard State. Yeah, she said he went there, right? Yeah, I think so, yeah. That ain't what she told me. Isn't. Of course not, see, she's frustrated with you. She did. Dude, move! <laughs> yeah, it's like this, he goes in front of the port. <laughs> Limericks aren't exactly what I had in mind. Look, reader or romantic poet? Kelly, Sheets, Keats, I, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? You're the prof. The prof? <laughs> Jesus Christ. That might help. <laughs> he said it might help. <laughs> oh, that poor actor. <laughs> now he got paid. Yeah, he's fine. I can get tomatoes for you. Did you want tomatoes? You know what else I was looking at last year? Muskie has 100. <laughs> <laughs> keeps going. Okay. Muskie met with McGovern today in Washington. If Hardy can stand on, it'll be uh, successful this fall. Who's president in 72? I don't even know. I'm not the right person to ask. Was it Lincoln? <laughs> <laughs> the not big picture whatever. seemed unimportant next to getting a chance for Donna and I in the future. Nice little continuity there with the shaving cream. Oh, did he have a mark on his face? No, he had like a little shaving cream line on his face. Oh, okay. And wiped it off. Lancelot, fires oh my burn God, deep my night. Oh, my God. As Passion roars. It's like, you know, they have an interesting story going on here with, the, with everything with Donna, you know? Um, but instead, we're just like spending all our time with this. <laughs> oh boy. I get the feeling that you brought this one on yourself. Where have you been? Waiting. I think this was like a producer's daughter or something. <laughs> I can see that. I, I wasn't expecting guests. But you promised to be Lancelot next. Oh, he's green screened. See that? Oh, yeah. So they can do this. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you think you should at least give him a chance? But he's so stiff. So unromantic. <laughs> he was about to say something. No, that was good. That was good. But it won't affect my love for you. Peace. <laughs> you know, I've been working on that, and I think I can fix it, but I have to locate her father. And I no. was. Al. No, no, Al, no, no, you... no, I can't help you, Sam. Look, just put the tomatoes on the top shelf, okay? <laughs> Donna's father was career military. No, Sam. Uh-uh. 
He's in the army, I think. <sighs> Sam. No. Maybe you can just leave, right, hologram dude? <laughs> yeah, true. You, you did that like whenever like we needed you earlier. Man, look at this outfit. Total 70s. Oh, God. Yeah, I know you told me to uh, <laughs> leave you alone. Help! He just ends up with a sexual harassment suit. <laughs> oh, God, ruins this guy's yeah, life. You've made things worse. <laughs> Thanks. You forgot Hubble's constant and uh, the redshift. Right. Theory will only take you so far, Don. <laughs> <laughs> if you could travel back in time, when would you go back to? When I was happiest, maybe six or seven years old. Before your father left you? Jesus. Uh... Who the hell are you? Just a friend. Look, Donna, it was just I a guess. Call. Please. <laughs> Please. Just a guess. Come on, dude. <laughs> you didn't list a father in your school record, and you went by your mother's maiden name. What were you doing in my records? You're in my class. No, I'm not. <laughs> you just walked in here. It's like, you might as well just cop to it, dude. It's very complex and completely unprovable, but I'd like your opinion. It's based on an expanding but finite universe. Because of the situation, she finds physics creepy. So when she meets Scott Bakula in her regular time, she just gets turned off by him. So they never, <laughs> so they yeah. never got together. She's like, I'm sorry, but this just reminds me of this creepy professor I had. <laughs> he knew too much about my family. He was super into physics, and now I'm not. Montage time. 80s. See, this is what I use to tie uh, my coat. Oh, he's doing. He's doing the time thing. Oh, the, the time loop theory or whatever. Yeah. Is he really trying to like explain to her what happened to him? I don't know. Explain it to her, but without explaining it to her. Well, that that's the way I see it. So basically, the the Infinity Stones are in the past. <laughs> <laughs> But if we don't return them to their own timeline. <laughs> What's an infinity stone? Mm -hmm. uh, quantum physics, yes. Ancient languages, yes. He's like, I didn't even know that. Um, maybe the capital of Egypt today. Don't tell me he's in Cairo. You're being too literal, Sam. So he's trying to go around the rules. He can't tell him things, so instead he wrote. He has it written down on this apron in hieroglyphics. He thinks I'm trying to communicate to you in a, in a code. <laughs> what hieroglyphics? <laughs> How can I write Colonel Wojohowicz in hieroglyphics? Oh, nice. They gave him the name. Al! Did you call me Dr. Bryant? No, I said Al, but... <laughs> we can be there and back in a day. To do what? Save a lost love. Ohio to D.C. in a day. I feel like that's a longer than a day. Dr. Bryant, I ship out for Vietnam at 0800 tomorrow. Vietnam? I'm sure you've heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe when I come back. Well, forgive me, sir, but um, what if you don't come back? Goodbye, Dr. Bryant. Damn, that's heavy. Oh, 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 damn it. He woke up after watching three minutes of ads. <laughs> Told you I'd be back. <clears throat> oh, oh, there you go. That's a collegiate wrestler right there. Okay, all Better right. Be careful. So... Good job selling the hand. Right? Right. What happened? Did what you told me. I uh, read her poetry. I told her that her perfume made me horny. <laughs> Do you have a car? 68 GTO. Triple deuce, hers four speed, 390 rear end, mag wheels. It, it, will it hold four people? He's like, okay, we're going to DC. I have nothing else to do. Ooh, a Sunoco. <laughs> Her brand. Her brand. <laughs> Where's the bathroom? Uh, back there. Where's the key? Key? We don't have no key. <laughs> Good, I hate bathrooms with keys. Yep, especially when you go to open it and it's like locked and you're like, well, is there a key or is someone in here? Yeah. I don't think Weitzman had a heart. He probably doesn't, but his wife does. You slept with his wife. <laughs> 
What happened? Oh, well, we had a couple of drinks, a uh, nice rare steak with green chili. With Weitzman. <laughs> she was engaged to someone before she even met you. Yeah? Yeah, so if you pull this off, she could marry this other jerk first. Oh, yeah. Huh. Well, then I'll just have to kill him. And that other jerk is going to be uh, the wrestling guy in the, the car. jock? <laughs> yeah. Oscar? A man. Confession time. What? I used to think you wrote your book just to pick up young, naive co-eds. The real guy probably did. Yeah. I don't want to see you run away when your chance for happiness comes. That's why I'm taking you to see your father. Oh, shit. She just tucks and rolls. <laughs> she just jumps out. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, well, at least she knows now. We got that out of the bag. Yeah. Is it just me, or does it seem like a very long 48 minutes? A lot's happened. I, yeah. But it feels like a lot still has to happen, and there's no I, time. I know. I guess it wasn't meant to be. You sound like Ziggy. Uh -huh. I made a note to mention his room number, right? 620? So they're gonna climb up. Oh! Something about that guy bothers me. They're gonna climb up six floors? There's a con visitor's line. I didn't see it there earlier. Well, oh, yeah, they just pulled up. <laughs> it's our car. <laughs> Harry, this car has Ohio plates. Check the back. I'll put Jeff. They said they were from Ohio. <laughs> what, what, what's the? Am I missing something? So it wasn't meant to be. Did they just scale six floors? Did I miss something? I guess it didn't. You, as long as you get in there, you could just take the elevator. I guess. Huh? This was a mistake. No, mistake was waiting ten years. I'm sorry, baby. I love you. <laughs> Waiting 10 years. They said she was like, what, five or six? <laughs> yeah, wait a minute. Wait, so she's 16? In college? No, it doesn't matter. No. If only you were a little. A little younger? Or I was a little older. <laughs> Two seconds with her dad, and she's like, oh, <laughs> time to go flirt with this guy. Like, <laughs> Harry, we got open door. Police? Uh. Jamie Lee, you made me so horny. Breathless with passion. <sighs> <laughs> is it supposed to be like this is how Watergate happened? Oh. You seem pretty pleased with yourself. <laughs> yeah. This is be like a Forrest Gump situation where he's involved in like almost every <laughs> big world event. Yeah. This is the 17th of June, 1972. So? So, we're in the Watergate. Break in. Nixon. Oh, this is the thing that causes Nick Nixon's impeachment. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's funny that we were talking about who's the president, and it's... <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. That means Forrest Gump is in the building next door. There are some people with some flashlights <laughs> next door. And Donna is probably going to end up marrying that sucker that she hooked before you. Maybe not. Maybe she'll jilt him and marry me. Or the guy she was engaged to. Come, you haven't sleeped yet. Yeah. That'd be creepy. Yeah, that would be. Oh, he's gonna leap when they kiss. Jesus. Full open mouth right into it. Yeah, it's not 69 anymore. Oh. Yeah, so like that's what he was doing there for all the stuff with Donna was just on the side. Oh, here we go. Get up! One! Get up! Two! Those are Rocky's trunks from Rocky One. <laughs> Interesting, so I wonder if every episode will end with the sneak peek of what the next jump, the next leap is. What would you think? Well, uh, once when it ended, I was going to Google who was the president in 1972. <laughs> <laughs> and like, it, it makes sense. That's why they were bringing up the politics yeah. so much. Yeah. Just like always, the episode answers my question pretty fast. Uh, it was interesting for 48 minutes, 30 something seconds. Uh, they packed a lot in there to the point where I'm like, is this going to end? Did it just jump to the next one with no cut? Like it felt like, it felt very like long, but not like boring long, like holy shit, how much are, are they packing into this long? I guess I was expecting more like, uh, that, that 10 minutes makes it like 40 minutes versus like 50 minutes or something. Like I don't know, I guess it makes a, a big difference. But overall, yeah, I like this one. I like the little uh, dipping more into uh, Scott Bakula's life, you know, this relationship with this Donna person. Will it play into the next one, or is it going to be uh, like a reset? I know, like, the scenario resets 
every week. But is that going to be reset as well? Are we going to hear any more from this Donna person? Is it going to be like another person from Scott Bakula's life that's going to, that he's got to change? Like, is that going to be the theme? Every, I'm, I'm just curious, like, how are they going to make it different? Every, obviously, like, the scenario of where they're at is going to change every week. But what's going to be, like, the plot thing or the personal thing or working with uh, Al and whoever in real world, like, that, that's what I'm curious about. How are they going to keep that interesting without it being the same every week? It's interesting. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I mentioned in the pilot episode about how, like, oh, wow, they're going to have to have a new cast and new characters every episode. Are they going to be able to have, you know, likable, good characters in the, all these episodes that are all separate stories? Um, and I got really worried at the beginning when we met um, the redheaded girl. I don't remember <laughs> her name, but just, you know, was not a fan of her performance. I get it for what it was trying to be or whatever. It was the comic relief with her on the jock. I think the, uh, the introduction of Oscar as the jock character when he came in made that better. He worked better with her than Scott Bakula did, in my opinion. He was the best part, yeah. But then when we meet Donna, Donna's whole chemistry and relationship with Scott Bakula I thought was great. So they yet again set up another really good character for this one episode, presumably. So I'll be curious to see if they can continue to do that. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed it. Probably, I, I don't, like, I wasn't, like, in love with it as much as the pilot, which was, like, I really, really enjoyed. This I just liked. It was good. Um, and someone commented on our uh, pilot episode saying that they're like, oh, if someone wasn't really into history from this time, they might not be able to get into this show. But I feel like the opposite. I feel like because I have a very vague, brief knowledge of history, but I don't know that much about any particular subject, it's actually interesting to like learn a little bit more about it uh, from each of these, you know, time periods that he's in, just like little things about it. Because like even watching this episode, like I'm aware of what Watergate is and the general story of what happened. But after watching this, it's like, oh, it kind of makes me want to look into it more of what actually happened, you mm -hmm. know? So I've enjoyed that. Yeah, it's very Forrest Gumpish, and I hope he just keeps getting involved in all these events. I don't know, it's interesting. Or maybe none of this matters and it'll be just completely different <laughs> next week. Who knows? Yeah, it looks like we're going to do a boxing episode next episode, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, what do you guys think of this episode in particular? Let us know. We're going to be watching the rest of this first season here before we jump into Star Trek The Next Generation uh, here on the channel. So subscribe, watch along with us. And if you like this show and like our reactions, let us know. So if it's something you want us to continue after the first season, comment and let us know that as well. But uh, thank you for joining us. Absolutely. But that's it. We're done.